Hey everybody, this is Michael Parent from Michael Parent Consulting Services. Today I wanted to talk about concepts of reliability. So reliability is really a way of describing the ability of an organization, an operation, an enterprise, whatever you want to call it, the ability for them to withstand the dynamics and shocks and inevitable failures that occur in business operations. Um, and what one of the coolest concepts that they have that we have in reliability engineering is this idea of the bathtub curve. So the bathtub curve looks like this. On the x-axis we have time, on the y-axis we have the failure rate or the likelihood of failure for a particular maybe machine component, maybe product that we ourselves are producing and throwing into the market. And really, in order for us to understand um, our warranty expenses or improve our product design or improve our capacity through keeping machine uptime uh, higher than it was without reliability engineering, we have to understand our failure rates. And the bathtub curve is really cool. It's, it describes a lot of different processes, but it essentially uh, has three components to it. And those three components are in this first one, it's early failure, right? So um, we'll call this early failure. Sometimes it's called infant mortality. I don't particularly like that term, but here we have uh, early failure. And what this shows is that we have a decreasing rate of failure with time. So things are gonna happen, um, maybe product defects, uh, bad design in a particular product, but as time goes along, as usage goes along, um, all of these kind of hash out and we get into this second area of the bathtub curve. And this one is um, just kind of the steady state. We call it the constant rate of failure. And here, this is just kind of like what we think about when machines are up and running you know, all the time, right? We bought this machine 20 years ago. It still runs, but it has occasional breakdowns, right? It has a constant rate of failure. This failure isn't fluctuating. It's not decreasing. It's not increasing, but we've kind of got this expected rate of failure um, that a particular, um, th that a particular machine or product is experiencing. Um, and then at the end of our life cycle, we have this thing called wear out. This is what I think most of us experience when we when we think of failures, right? So I've got a washing machine and I bought it 25 years ago, and unless I'm, you know, building, you know, that motor is going to run out unless I replace that motor, unless I replace these um, U joints on my car. There are things, uh, oil, right, in a in a vehicle as well. There are things that we don't design to last indefinitely. If we did the economic cost would be incredible and it's just better to replace them and go and buy another one. It's kind of the consumer mentality, but this is the world we live in, right? Is um, at some part, uh, at some point, our products start to fail more consistently. There's an increase in the likelihood of failure for a particular product. Um, this is especially true in electronic components, right? Where at some point with all these switches flipping and all this electricity going through it um, it's just going to wear out and there's not a whole lot we can do to maintain it into the steady state it's best just to kind of replace that computer or replace that hard drive um, so that's all i wanted to talk about today the bathtub curve is what this is called um, and just a very quick primer of it there's three areas of the bathtub curve the early failure which is ca uh which is uh, characterized by having a decreasing failure rate with time, the steady state where there's a constant failure rate, and then the wear out, the end of life cycle where we're getting an increasing failure rate uh, relative to time. So we'll talk a little bit more about this. I'll have some more videos uh, getting into reliability engineering and uh, business reliability, risk analysis, all that good stuff all rolled in here um, into the the really important concept of the bathtub curve.